Hello YouTubers, Ghost here. Got another review for you today on the DPX Hest middle spec. Now, you may be asking yourself, what in the world is a middle spec version? Well, I'm about to show you. You can see, unlike the Hest and Hest 2.0, this has a stonewashed blade. And it kind of looks like a mirror polish. It's almost a mirror polish. See, you can almost see the camera set up and everything. Uh, so yeah, it's got a stonewashed blade on it. Very nice. And you've got black G10 handles. Kind of a carbon fiber uh, look to it. But it's, it's actually got a fairly good grip. About medium traction. Uh, and then you've got the one spoke on the uh, roto block and what DPX calls their combat pocket clip and it presses down on that uh, titanium lock bar uh, to kind of help you know create some tension and so it doesn't overextend but that's what I kind of hope that roto block would be there for uh, although I'm pretty sure it's just you know there so you switch it onto a fixed blade which is Mm, yeah, no, not gonna happen. Again, this is a folder. Do not expect any folder to be a fixed blade or act like one. Alright, so uh, weight is 5 ounces, and I think that's pretty good for, uh, you know, the slab of steel you're getting here, which is 5 millimeters thick. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that's a very thick stock of Sleipner steel there for you. Uh, and size, it's listed as a three and a quarter inch blade, which is basically from the handle to the tip of the blade, but you've got about three inches of actual cutting uh, edge there. The handle is just over four and a half inches, and the handle thickness is just over half an inch. See, uh... Philosophy of use, um, well for me it's an EDC blade, um, collectible, I, yeah, yeah, I'd actually say yes, um, especially with this uh, particular model because it's so different from all the other DPX Hest models and as you can see right here it is serialized, I would assume that this would be uh, the model number, this is the date, and this is the number, like the order, so this is the 417th knife or mill spec folder produced that day, May 9th of this year. Alright, so philosophy of use, I say EDC blade, uh, collectible, I think it could be because it's a very, very handsome blade. You know, it's got that nice stone wash finish, a titanium frame lock, which a lot of people like. Um, tactical blade. Mm, well, it depends. I'll say yes, but it depends on the size of your hands. For me, I've got mm, probably large size hands. And this fits my hands surprisingly well. That was the one thing I was really uh, concerned about buying this knife. Is like, hmm, is this knife going to be big enough for my hand? But surprisingly, my fingers fit between both the uh, front choil and the tiny little pinky ramp back here. Fits out just nicely. So, for me, I could I could use this as a tactical blade. Yeah, you might you might say that the uh, blade's a little on the short side, but if you know how to use it, then you know it just depends on how you how you're trained. You know, if you want to use it to you know keep them back, if you want to have a little extra reach and this is probably not what you want to go with so for tactical blade I would say it depends you know what are you what are you trained to use and how are you going to employ it in that role uh, blade shape and steel like I said before this is a Schleppner steel I don't know if I'm saying that right Schleppner and you can see it engraved right there on the blade and it has a nice stone wash finish with, again, kind of has a mirror polished look to it, which is nice. Um, I do like a good stone wash. 
So yeah, you've got this kind of a, uh, I don't know. For some reason when I see this blade shape, I think of a boat. I know it's, it's a little odd, um, but it's kind of a neat blade shape. I like the combination they have here of all this belly with a very precise tip, you know, as far as this angle goes. However, you know, you've got this huge stock, so this tip isn't that delicate, but as far as blade geometry goes, it is kind of a delicate, er, sorry, pointier, <laughs> if you will, tip. So yeah, you've got kind of this uh, very nice drop point with a lot of belly here, and yet a very, very acute point. Uh, handle material. You've got G10 on one side with an aluminum backspacer here and as I showed you before it's got the uh, you know it's serialized and then you've got the titanium frame lock on the back very nice you've got your uh, lion steel roto block and then you've got your combat pocket clip by Hest which is one of the main selling points for me buying this model as opposed to the regular has this pocket clips nice and you know it's blackened and it's smaller I mean they're all loop over uh, but the the others were kind of like shiny and a bit more obtrusive so I like this it's a good pocket clip it's got that skull DPX has skull on there I don't mind it I don't mind it it's all right uh, let's see so yeah you got titanium Aluminum backspacer, and there you can see it says Lion Steel made in Italy. Booyah, very nice. My first Lion Steel produced blade. And your G10 handle. Okay, and pocket clip, like I said before. It's a deep carrying pocket clip, loop over, you know, attaches here on the end under the glass breaker here, which, you know, it's. I've heard a lot of people complain about the uh, Microtech, uh, Ultratech glass breaker, how it's really pointy. Uh, this isn't that pointy. It's not, not that offensive at all, actually. And you can take that off with a, probably a hex driver, I'm sorry, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, you've got this nice blackened loop over pocket clip, and you can see that it's fairly strong and fairly wide so it's going to be able to accommodate your thicker pants your tactical pants if you have them so overall i'd say this is a good pocket clip very good pocket clip some people may say it creates a hot spot back here for your pinky and your uh, ring finger but i think it's very comfortable unless you're like really squeezing that handle for whatever reason and even then it doesn't bother me that much and in reverse grip your uh, middle finger will fall right right in that little dip in the pocket clip so that that's nice and this this doesn't even hurt right here with the glass breaker so you put that on there very comfortably in reverse grip uh let's see ergonomics i'd say superb you've got you know your g10 here which is very very great we got to say medium to high traction g10 Kind of has, this, like I said before, kind of a carbon fiber look to it. Uh, but you got your front choil here, which is sufficient, and a pinky ramp here, just in case you have to use that glass breaker, you know, to get into your car, get out of your car, or, you know, non lethal impact. God forbid. But overall, the ergonomics are great as well. You've got a thumb ramp here with some gimping, which is, it's all right. It's, if you dig down into it like this, you'll really feel it, but otherwise, if you just kind of slide it up on there, you won't really feel it as much. And that's because they wanted these to be like uh, wire strippers. And personally, I'm not gonna use these. I, I don't know how to use them, so I'm not going to use them. <laughs> and since we're already here, we got a uh, bottle opener right here, so that's that's cool. Don't know how many times I'd pull out my knife to you know open a open a beer or something. Not gonna. Hey guys, let me check this out. But granted, if I was with you know some of my friends and you know out of sight from the general public, perhaps. Anyway, 
Uh, let's see, and this knife has another cool feature on it, this uh, hex driver right here. So you can put in like your, uh, you know, your Benchmade Blue Box stuff. It'll fit right, oh, carbon monoxide alarm. Uh, so you can put your uh, hex bits in there and come right in through there and use this as a, essentially as a wrench. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, let's see. And since I have it in, in frame, we'll show you the box here. Standard DPX box as far as I as far as I know. San Diego, California, hometown right there, boys and girls. DPX has stuff on the right hand. Yeah, that's not actually the way of the knife, guys. It's again, like I said, it's a five ounce knife, so. And open it up. We got that. Oh, no, this idea. It came in this black stuff. And in here. And it came with this uh, extra bag right here with a uh, screw just in case you want to replace uh, your glass breaker. If you don't need it, don't want it, or if it's uncomfortable, you can replace it with that screw. So I think that's a nice little inclusion. Don't get any literature <laughs> with this particular knife, so if that stuff bores you or you don't read it, I guess that's all right. <laughs> all right, competitive options. Let's see if I actually have any. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll do. My Emerson CQC15. Love, love, love this knife. However, it's a little big in my opinion for EDC. Not, not, I don't know, I don't want to say for me because I love the ergonomics on this knife. It's absolutely perfect it is genius the ergonomics are i just love it uh however whipping out this thing in public it's it's a little on the large side uh this is like a full-on tactical blade slash edc depending on where you are who you are uh whereas this i find to be a little more you know public friendly you know it's got that you know, standard drop point, it's not like black coated or serrated, so it doesn't have that tactical look to it. Um, and it's shorter, by far. Actually, well, an inch, about. So, yeah. Any of the Emersons would be a good option if you're looking for a tactical blade or EDC, depending on what you're looking for. Um... I just reviewed this guy, the uh, Benchmade 522 Presidio Ultra satin version, non serrated. This is like half the price of this one, so you know, if you're looking for a budget tactical, I think this is a really good one, especially because it's American made, you know, around 70, 70? Yeah, 70 bucks. This guy. Very good blade. EDC, tactical use. Um, not really a collectible because, you know, there's nothing special exactly about this unless you've got, like, a Benchmade collection, in which case, yeah, this is a good addition to that. So, I like this guy. Uh, and then, I don't have it with me right now because it's somewhere else, but uh, any of the Zero Tolerance knives um, would be good competition to this, especially, like, your uh, 301s. Um, 300s because those are large titanium frame locks and I don't dig those so much just because they are so big and bulky uh, but again your mileage may vary so yep competitive options we are done with that so overall what do I think of the DPX Hest mill spec oh another thing about the mill spec that's kind of different from the ordinary they have uh, phosphor bronze washers in there. Can't quite, can't quite see that. Oh, there we go. Focus. Yes, we can see them. Phosphor bronze washers in there, as opposed to like the standard uh, nylon washers. I think they had. Give you a quick look at centering. It's pretty much uh, right on par. Perfection. And then uh, lockup is about 50, 50%, I'd say. And and this is actually the way it came, if I remember correctly. It, 
it actually came about 40 or 50 percent so but you know no no blade play at all this this knife is rock solid with lockup so no problem there deployment speed is fast you know if you want to flick it out or if you want to you know take it out slow like so very smooth opening has kind of a uh well i'd say hydraulic feel to it if you will not quite it's not like uh like this where it's just like buttery smooth and you can just take it out but it has its own smoothness to it it's just more of a i don't know it feels heavier it's it's hard to explain uh, but overall, I think this would make a great collector or, you know, EDC knife for anyone who wants a more substantial blade or, you know, just a titanium frame lock or, you know, something out of the ordinary because not everyone carries a DPX test and, you know, because of some of the uh, more, I guess, drama surrounding it. And initial sharpness on this guy was uh, pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see this. Focus camera. Focus. Nope, we're not getting focus. There we go. Uh, but as you can see, that edge is like mirror polished. It's just beautiful, that edge. They did a really good job on this. I mean, it's not like hair shaving sharp, and I wouldn't expect that from something that, again, is 5 millimeters thick in blade stock. Um, but it came very very sharp for its size so again I think this would make a great collector's knife uh, just because it's serialized and because again not everyone has one of these and I also think it'd make a good tactical knife if if you know you're trying to use a shorter blade or more comfortable with a shorter blade you know, and again, if your hand fits in this handle, you know, well, because for me, it works. It fit, my fingers fit in between the two guards, but if you had smaller, or I'm sorry, larger hands, then this knife may not be for you because of the uh, shorter handle. So, that has been my review of the DBX Has Mil Spec folder. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.